time to take off that bolt. All right, here is the front of the block. Uh, and I have the rod journals, the rod things. 1A, 1B, because there's one. There's one main one, 1A, 1B, then there's two. There's 2B, or 2, 2A I took off. Yeah, they got carried away. I took 2A off. Then there's 3, and down in there I've labeled 3A and 3B, and then there's 4, and I've labeled 4A and 4B. So 4 is to the rear of the block, and I've also labeled <coughs> Pistons. So, two, four, six, eight, and then on the other side is one, three, five, seven. Okay, they're all done. And we'll get to that in a second. But thanks. These are probably falling off and nicking the journals, which is. 100% not what to do. Absolutely not what to do. But that one had fallen. So, well, there's a one, a four, and a seven, and a five, and a. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. They all came out. So, uh, main bolts. You get the main bolts, you get the main stud. But, You've also got that guy right there, and 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 also on the other side. Those are 10 millimeter. So those are coming off next. Well, number number four came out. So there's one, and two, and three, and four. Whatever. Well, there's a stubborn one in every group. One is good, two is good, three is stuck, four is gone, and the end one. I guess you call it five, I don't know. Don't know what you call it. I'm totally in. Well, we are ready for the machine shop. This is April 5th, Thursday. No, April 7th. And we are ready for the machine shop. That last main, boy, this is a lot of pushing and pulling and tugging and hitting with the rubber mallet before it would come. In the interest of taking a video of every step, here's this step. <laughs> 